Down two games to one in the NLCS. The Brewers call on Winston Wolf in game four, but he wasn't available. So they'll stick with Randy Wolf, who struggled in the division series. He was much better in this ball game, but not early. Bottom two, Matt Holliday manages to go opposite field and poke this one out. one nothing Cardinals, first home run for Holiday since September 6th. Then in the third, Alan Craig somehow hits this pitch out of the park. Not a bad pitch at all from Wolf, but it's a solo home run. 2-0 Cardinals, Craig doing the job in place of Lance Berkman. Top four, Jerry Hairston Jr. down the left field line. Prince Fielder comes in. The Brewers make it a 2-1 ball game. Very next batter, Uneski Betancourt with the base hit. Now watch Hairston here. He's going to try to score. The throw is cut off by Albert Pujols. He delivers a strike to home plate, and somehow Hairston gets in there safely. That left hand able to reach across and just touch the plate, and the Brewers tie the game up at two. Mitchell Boggs now pitching for the Cardinals, facing Ryan Braun with a man on in the fifth. Braun, a bouncer to the hole, base hit to left, and the Brewers have the lead. They tried to come inside on him, and he got around on it and hit it past for call. WTMJ on the call. How good have Braun and Fielder been in this series? And next up, it is Fielder. He rips one, but Ryan Terrio, beautiful job to start the 4-6-3 inning-ending double play. Able to range to his left and the quick throw to second. Nicely done by Terrio, starting in place of Nick Punto. So everything La Russa doing, turning out well. Top six, George Kataris at the plate. And he sends one to Terrio. This time, Terrio can't make the play. Everybody's safe. Ricky Weeks comes in on the error. And it's 4-2 to two Brewers. To the bottom of the inning. Matt Holiday on a third. One down. And this is where you really got to bear down as a pitcher. Randy Wolf did just that. He's able to strike out Terrio. Then gets John Jay to fly out to center field on the curveball. Wolf does the job. He goes seven innings, allows two runs on six hits, and strikes out six. To the bottom of the eighth, Francisco Rodriguez on, and he's able to get Matt Holliday to ground out to third. Jerry Hairston Jr. with the throw, and Prince Fielder. Nice little scoop over there at first base, and K-Rod with a scoreless eighth. To the ninth, John Axford on the closing out, facing Raphael for call, the potential game-tying run. Bouncer to Uni, this should do it. The toss to Council, and the Brewers take the game. Evens the series at two apiece on a beautiful effort tonight. Randy Wolf comes out big time. WTMJ once again, and we got a series 2-2 after four games. Randy Wolf earns his first career postseason victory, and after the game called it the biggest win of his 13-year career. It's the first postseason road win for the Brewers since the first game of the 1982 World Series.